today, let's pray with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do, now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Glimpses of the Gospel, Jesus tells this parable to praise the man's cunning skills to think about what would come next in his life. He praises the man's foresight to be able to ride out the difficult situation. Jesus tells us that the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. By saying this, he means that those who think only about worldly matters, those who think only about how to make ends meet, are sometimes more sagacious than we are. Apparently, we're supposed to be thinking about the future world, heaven, or the life to come. Jesus wants us to devote as much strength, shrewdness, and heart to earning a place in heaven as to earning a place or position in earthly life. In order to do this, it's important to think about the parable's underlying idea. We are God's stewards. We brought nothing of ours into this world, and there's nothing we can take away from it. The material things and goods that we own don't really belong to us, we do own material and spiritual goods, but we have to manage them for the benefit of others, especially for the benefit of the poor and those in need. If we have some material and spiritual wealth, we must open our hearts to those who are in need. There's nothing that truly belongs to us since we've received everything from God. If we are generous with what we've received, one day we'll have what's ours in heaven. God will give it to us forever. But if we keep to ourselves what's not really ours, God will take it away from us when we depart from this world, and we will receive nothing from God, let alone from those who we didn't help. You might remember, if you're married, that when a couple gets married, in one of the final blessings, the priest says these words, May you be witness in the world to God's charity so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. This is what's requested for those who get married, and it is, I believe, the idea of today's parable in a prayer. May this prayer come to life today, in your life and in mine. We, Catholics, need to become aware and decide once and for all to be generous with the goods we possess. Those goods are not ours, and we won't keep them with us on the day of our departure from this world. We're always eager to think ahead and plan carefully everything that's connected to material possessions and situations. We plan our future, our children's future. We organize this or the other, and life goes by while we do so. Today, let's be shrewd with the poor and the needy. They'll have prepared a place for us when we reach heaven. May we have a good day, and may the blessing of our merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon our hearts, and remain with us forever.